Welcome to another video lesson from Now You Know. In this lesson, we're going to put a we're going to put a picture into a page on your website. Now, here's a website page that I have control over on my website, and I want to add some pictures. Now, the first thing I do is I go to Now You Know Central and log into my account. I then look for the document under documents that represents the page I've created. In this case, the document name happens to match the page name. Okay, price of health. So, once I've found this document, I decide where I want to put the images. Well, I would like one image at the top because I wrote the article, I want a picture of me. The other one I want further down. So, the first thing I'm going to do is click in the document where I would like the picture to be. Now, I want it to be on the right hand side over here by this word, but I'm going to click on the left hand side, then move it over there. Next, I go to the Image button and click on that. That brings up an Image Insert dialog box. So I bring up the box. Now, if the picture I'm looking for is already online, all I really have to do here is type in the address, www.whateverthepictureaddress might be, and then hit uh, Upload or Save. Now, since I don't know the name and I, the picture that I'm looking for is not really online, there are two ways to go get it. First, I go over to this Browse button over here. When I click on the Browse button, it brings up another dialog box. And that dialog box brings up all the pictures that I have already uploaded into my Upload Center. Now, in this particular case, there's a picture here that I want to put in place. So, I scroll to that picture, and I'll double-click on the picture. When I do that, that picture is automatically placed into the original dialog box. Now here we see it. I then can click OK, and that picture now will appear inside my document. But you know what? I don't like where it is. I mean, it's above the text, it's off to the left, I want it on the right-hand side. So I right-click on the picture and go to Image Properties. When I do this, it brings up a small dialog box. Down the bottom here, you see Positioning. I will click and drop down to the right. So it will position the picture on the right. OK. The picture is on the right-hand side. Now that's pretty good, but I also don't like the way the text is right up against that picture. There needs to be a little space in here. So I'm going to go back and right-click the picture again and go to Image Properties. Now in the section just above Alignment, we have an H space and a V space, meaning the horizontal and vertical. I'm going to type 6 in each one of those for 6 pixels. OK, that looks good. Alrighty, OK. And now the picture is exactly where I want it to be and spaced properly. Now I said I wanted to add a second picture. And the second picture I want to add is, is going to be lower in this document, since this is a pretty long document or a pretty long web page. The picture I want is also not been uploaded already, so it's not going to be in that Upload Center. Well, I'm going to click where I want the picture, go to the Image button, click on the Image button, and it brings up my uploaded images. Well, first it brings up the dialog box, and then I'm going to bring up my uploaded images. So I'll click on that box, that button. Up comes the dialog box. Now the picture I want now is not here. It's on my computer. So, in order to get it in this Upload Center, I go to the Upload link. Click on it. It brings up another Browse button. That Browse button will open a dialog box that is now looking inside my computer for the pictures. So, as I click on it, it brings up a dialog box. Now, I know where the pictures are. So I'm going to navigate to those pictures that I want, or the one particular one I'm looking for. And when I find it, let's see. There, I think I just passed it. There it is, right there. I will now click and say OK or Open. It now uploads the picture into my Upload Center. There it is. Now, don't be concerned that it's distorted. That's not important. It'll fix itself when we go to insert it into the document. But I am going to double-click on that picture, okay, in order to insert it 
into the previous dialog box. There it is, there's subluxation. Now if we remember correctly, we want to position it to the right, so we go alignment and right, and we want to give it an H space of 6 and a V space of 6. And now we can say OK. Once we've done that, the picture is positioned exactly where I want it to be. The only thing left to do now is to up is to uh, apply the uploads of changes to the document, say yes, and now my document has been changed. If I go back to my web page and refresh the page, there they are. The pictures are now inside the page as I've placed them. It's that simple.